Ryan Miley had been non-committal about his future as the MLA for Saskatoon Miwasan, but today he made his decision to leave politics official. A number of these guests are here to say, uh, to say hello and, and goodbye to me and my role as uh, MLA for Saskatoon Miwasan and uh, leader of the opposition as on July 1st, uh, it will be my final day uh, in this seat. And uh, I'm very pleased to be able to welcome some of these good friends and family. Miley became MLA for Saskatoon Miwasan in 2017 and won the party leadership in 2018 after two previously unsuccessful attempts. It's that perseverance that's been noticed by Premier Scott Moe. He did live true to his beliefs. Um, uh, whether we agreed on those beliefs or not, uh, he most certainly did live to them and he stood by them. And, and those two traits, uh, perseverance and, and uh, being true to the beliefs that you have, I, I think are admirable in, in any individual, even when you might not agree totally with uh, uh, what those might be. I think you can respect the fact uh, that, that someone is doing that and Ryan Miley most certainly uh, did do that. Miley served longer than the previous two NDP leaders but could not lead the party to a breakthrough in the 2020 election. He says looking back, he would have changed being the leader of the constant criticism of the government. He says his advice for the next leader is to balance that criticism with showing the party's positive vision for Saskatchewan. Overall, he says he's happy with his decision. It is time for me to move on and do other things. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have been the leader of the NDP to have been leader of the opposition, to, to be a doctor leading in the middle of a pandemic. It's been uh, the challenge, an opportunity, in honour of a lifetime. A doctor by profession, Miley says he plans to stay working in the field of medicine. His last day as MLA and leader is July 1st. The government has six months from that day to hold a by-election to fill Miley's seat. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.